Voslav Smil, How the World Really Works, A Scientist's Guide to Our Past, Present and Future. Get ready to embark on an incredible journey through the history of energy conversion and its impact on our lives. And How the World Really Works, A Scientist's Guide to Our Past, Present and Future by Voslav Smil. We delve into the fascinating world of energy, beginning from the early microbes performing photosynthesis to the latest innovations in solar and nuclear power. The book examines the milestones in human history, from the harnessing of fire to modern agriculture and fossil fuels, shedding light on how energy conversion has reshaped our environment and redefined our existence. As you read this summary, you'll gain valuable insights into the workings of the world and appreciate the link between energy conversion and human evolution. The Evolution of Energy Conversion Life began with energy conversion when simple, single-cell microbes emerged over 3 billion years ago. These microbes used solar radiation to access nutrients, created organic compounds, and produced oxygen through photosynthesis. Energy conversion continued with the discovery of fire by humans, which made indigestible food edible, kept shelter warm, and protected against dangerous animals. The domestication of animals expanded the use of kinetic and mechanical energy previously generated through human muscles. Fossil fuels such as coal were discovered after 1600, giving rise to the steam engine, the first industrial workhorse. The modern age brought forth new energy sources such as crude oil, water and wind turbines, geothermal, nuclear, and solar power, shaping every aspect of human existence from work, food, travel, and communication. The miracle of modern life is linked to the evolution of energy conversion. The Power of Conversions Energy conversion is the foundation of life and has empowered human beings to dominate the world. In the late 19th century, Ludwig Boltzmann, a founder of thermodynamics, proposed that energy is the core of everything, while Erwin Schrödinger, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, suggested that each organism feeds on free energy and the organisms that best capture this energy have the evolutionary advantage. So, what is energy, and how does it work? In simple terms, energy is the ability to do work, such as causing movement or producing a change of configuration in a system. All energy can be converted, and the conservation of energy is the first law of thermodynamics, which means it cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed into another form. As an example, Consider a cardboard box sliding down a loading bay ramp, when it was at the top of the ramp, it had potential energy, which was converted into kinetic energy as it sped down. However, as it slowed due to friction, the kinetic energy was transformed into thermal energy, which heated both the box and the ramp. Homo sapiens, according to Schrödinger, have the evolutionary advantage since they excel at capturing free energy, which is available for useful conversions, such as agriculture. Fueling the world's food production The world's population has increased threefold over the last 69 years, leading to a higher demand for food production, yet despite the double increase in population, there has been a corresponding decline in undernourished individuals, which begs the question of how food production has kept up with this demand. The answer lies in the hybrid nature of modern food production that depends on two types of energy conversions, solar radiation and fossil fuels. Photosynthesis is as old as life itself and accounts for the first type of energy conversion. The use of fossil fuels, on the other hand, catalyzed production growth as it powers labor-saving machines that are essential to harvest crops and other energy-consuming processes in food production. Nitrogen, the most important indirect energy input in farming, is another critical component of food production. Although plants require nitrogen to grow, they can't access it in a usable form readily. The production of synthetic nitrogen fertilizers fueled by natural gas revolutionized food production, resulting in a significant yield increase that allowed us to almost feed 8 billion people. However, it came at a cost, a greater dependence on fossil fuels. The Impact of Fossil Fuels on Agriculture The Green Revolution that took place in the 20th century, where fossil fuels were used to power agriculture, changed the face of farming in the way we work. 
This can be observed by comparing the wheat farming methods of western New York in 1801, eastern Dakota in the early 1900s, and modern-day Kansas. The use of fossil fuels led to mechanization and increase in crop yields, which reduced the need for manual labor and forced people to leave farms and head into urban areas. Today, just 1% of Americans work in agriculture, compared to the 83% who did in 1801. Electrifying our world. The summary takes a closer look at how electricity has transformed the energy industry, converting the way machines are powered and transportation is enabled, and what life looked like before this energy source. Electricity is the cornerstone of modern society, and it's hard to imagine life without it. Though the concept of electricity is abstract and elusive, its impact on the world is undeniable and revolutionary. Unlike tangible stores of energy like coal and gasoline, electric energy is much less intuitive but endless and efficient. Using electric energy, the flip of a switch or a push of a button can activate devices from heaters to motors and lighting. And because electricity is always clean and mostly very efficient, it reduces the need for bulky fuel storage and transportation. Electricity first revolutionized lighting, making it affordable and incredibly efficient, thanks to the rapid evolution of fluorescent lighting in sodium lamps. However, electrification's most significant impact was on modern machines and transportation. Electric motors lifted, pressed, cut, and weaved various goods, making factories cleaner, more affordable, and faster. Electric trams allowed people to travel through vast cities, bringing workers to the gates of those factories. The effect was clear, between 1900 and 1930, electrification doubled American manufacturing productivity. By 1960, it had quadrupled it. Electricity has permeated every aspect of life, powering everything from elevators and trash compactors to conveyor belts in warehouses and air conditioning units. Even regular cars now have between 20 and 40 electric motors. Households rely on it for heating, refrigeration, and lighting, among countless other tasks. It's critical to distributing major resources like fossil fuels and moving water into municipal pipelines. Without it, cities would be plunged into chaos and economies would grind to a halt. Despite the profound impact electricity has on the world, it supplies only a small percentage of global energy consumption, 18%. Nevertheless, history shows that innovation helps energy conversion develop, and electricity's impact on our world will continue to evolve. As we reach the end of this enlightening journey through the history of energy conversion, one thing becomes undeniably clear. The transformation of energy is the driving force behind our existence and progress. Voslav Smil's How the World Really Works paints a striking portrait of how our understanding and manipulation of energy have shaped human evolution, revolutionized agriculture and industry, and propelled our species to unprecedented achievements. From photosynthesizing microorganisms to the age of electricity, our mastery over energy conversion has not only determined our place in the biological order but also fueled our ascent to the dominant species on Earth. As you reflect on the overarching message of this book, you'll develop a newfound appreciation for the power and potential hidden in the energy that surrounds us.